Today's Saturday, March 18th, 2017. I have an old friend coming to visit today. Somebody I haven't seen in quite a while and somebody we haven't seen on my YouTube channel in a long time. I'm gonna go pick him up at the airport right now. This is my friend Brandon Green. He's visiting from Georgia. He's the guy I used to go sketching with every day in Texas. And he's here in town visiting. <laughs> Hi, Brandon. Hi. <laughs> we're going sketching. Oh yeah, we're going sketching. Right out of the gate. about 1 a.m. Everybody's in bed already. Poor Brandon's been up for almost 24 hours straight. <laughs> it's a big time change from Georgia to California. I guess relatively big, three hours. He's only gonna be here for a couple days, but it's been nice having my sketch buddy back. <laughs> Honestly, I think the biggest leap I ever had in my career was meeting Brandon and having somebody to go out and sketch with every single day where it was just fun. I mean, we, we have fairly similar drawing styles. Um, he's definitely a much better painter than I am. You should see his digital paintings and illustrator stuff. It's, he's just really, really good at that. And then I've got my comics background and caricature background. So I think we both sort of meet in the middle with different sets of talents but we also have very similar interests. And so after, I guess we sketched together for almost two years, pretty regularly, at least two or three times a week, sometimes more than that. Sitting at Walmart, admiring the mullets and the Walmart people. I miss that Walmart. <laughs> So Brandon is out here visiting just for a couple days. Um, he and his wife are thinking of moving out here. And uh, I've uh, helped him get a little bit of work here and there at Warner Brothers whenever I could. Usually just a little freelance stuff. Um, but I was hoping maybe some FaceTime and just getting used to being out here. When I first thought about moving out here, it was just such a scary and intimidating idea. I mean, it was so big. Before I moved out here, uh, I probably came to visit maybe 10 times. Came from Texas to LA. I uh, came out here two or three times for CTN, Animation Expo. Uh, came out here a few times just to hang out and visit. By the time I actually moved to LA, I was actually pretty familiar with the area, especially Burbank. Honestly, I feel like I had more friends out here than I had back in Texas because a lot of my friends that I used to be in a studio with and uh, did comic stuff with and a lot of them moved off and uh, I didn't really have people around me to challenge me to get better and want to push myself and um, and Brandon, had his wife had gotten a job in Georgia and so he was going to be moving off and yeah, it was, it's time to get out of Texas. It was perfect timing. I haven't regretted it for one single second. It's been amazing, an amazing journey. So I wish him luck. You should check out his channel. He's got some really great tutorials, especially for doing Illustrator and Photoshop. Uh, he's definitely better at that stuff than I am. <laughs> yeah, if you're looking for the best way to level up, 
to find a friend to go sketch with, or a group of friends, even better. You'll learn a lot from doing classes. You'll learn a lot from, you know, uh, message boards and, and posting in sketch groups online. But really, the best way I found is to find somebody to go play with creatively. So for my 100 Days of Making Comics tonight, I spent about an hour working on a page for my comics class. Um, and I didn't record any of it. There's two different projects that I'm working on. So I'm working on this short story, this 10 to 12 page short story for my class, which requires more thinking um, and I'm finding that I get stuck when I try and film while I'm thinking because I'm too distracted by the camera, I'm too distracted by making sure it's uh, screen share software is working. I feel like once I have those pages finished, like uh, written and penciled completely for the whole 10 to 12 pages, uh, then I can easily film me inking it. And I might do them traditionally. I've been thinking about doing that. Um, in the meantime, when I'm working on those pages, I'll probably just either show little glimpses of it or... Um, I'll just talk about it in the videos. Then the other stuff that I'm working on is I'm trying to um, do little short story pages just about being a dad and Emmett, little cute things happening with Emmett. Um, I'm trying not to think about it too much, just whatever comes out on the page. Those seem to be easier to stream, and so I'll probably balance it out that way, and I hope it's okay. So this is day 25, I think. So that's a little past three weeks, right? I can honestly say it's starting to be fun again. It has been so long since I had fun penciling pages. It's been so long since I had fun sketching. I, I hate to admit that, but yeah, it's been a long time since I just had fun sketching. And feels so good to be drawing pages again. I can't emphasize it enough. It's like this block has finally been broken through that it's been there for years. And it, it had everything to do with my expectations. Like I, it had been, when I first started having problems with drawing pages was after my last professional gig as a comic artist and it was because on that last project I was working with somebody else I was working with a writer and he quit on me and uh, I mean I guess we could say there's creative differences I don't really want to go into it <laughs> but I used up all my savings uh, to do that project and then when it just kind of ended abruptly um, all my, I was really counting on that project to work. And when it didn't, it sort of, it broke my heart and made me hate comics again, made me hate drawing and was doing it for the wrong reasons. Basically lost sight of why I wanted to do all of this. And to get myself motivated, I kept making bigger and bigger goals. And so the next time I, finish something it had to be this big spectacular thing to make it worthwhile for all that suffering and all those times that I didn't follow through and finish anything and those high expectations have kept me from being productive all this time they just kept me from being productive they've kept me from joy creatively So I want to thank uh, my teacher, Jim Higgins, for making me push through and do that first comic in this series. You know, 30 minutes of finishing a page. That was a big breakthrough for me because I hadn't had fun doing this in a long time. And so I'm, I'm glad to be on the other side of it again. <laughs> it's been interesting seeing... Um, I've seen a few videos pop up in my feed for other people that are doing the 100 days of making comics. And they started doing the 100 days because they saw my videos. <laughs>
and I'll occasionally like uh, watch through them, you know, whenever I can. And it's it's interesting to hear other people struggling with the same things that I've been struggling with, uh, and that makes me feel good that me attempting this has inspired other people to attempt this, and then hearing that you're going through the same problems is <laughs> reassuring and refreshing to me. Um, yeah, it's <sighs> you're not alone. I'm not alone. We're all suffering together. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for tonight. Thank you for watching, and uh, keep smiling.